Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3 World War I mod as the Russian Empire. So last episode, we scooted through 1910 on speed 5. Didn't have a lot to do. We went all the way up to August of 1911, again, with not much to do. Uh, what did happen, though, was we managed to get our country mildly stabilized. We have our national unity going up. We have consumer goods uh, at, a, at a, a level that we can maintain. We have enough production to supply our troops, which was the problem, and there's a little bit going into upgrades right now. Now, at uh, a 10% ratio, 10% uh, of what I need, or probably less than that, probably like 9% of what I need is actually going out to the troops right now in terms of, in terms of upgrade. It's going to take quite a while, but that's okay. We have several years to get ready. Don't have anything on the production queue, which feels very weird to me. Uh, if any, if there's anything I know about Hearts of Iron, it's the build, the the build up to the war is when you have. Uh, let's see, wait for the day to tick by. The build up, the build up years before the war is when you want to be. Well, that didn't change at all, did it? Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. They do not have enough supplies. Hmm, maybe that's what happened there. Well, anyway, we got we got the tech. It's in there now. Uh, and it should probably actually be on the bottom, so we're going to jack it back. Supply organization, supply production, supply transportation. Anything where the word supply in it? Oh, you know what? That was that was not the one I thought it was. I thought that was supply production. Was that supply production? What? I, thought it, I think it was. Well, we have industrial production, industrial efficiency coming up right now, so that's good. I see 10%. I see efficiency. A little bit more to work with. We got three more IC. Uh, not a ton, but when you're working with razor thin margins, I'll take it. And there it goes. That just dropped down a little bit. All right, so we got 24 going into upgrades right now. So uh, the King Empire is having some trouble right now. Having a little bit of problems. And I think this episode will probably... Well, we're going to scoot through a lot of the game on speed 5 again. A lot of the game. It's risen up. Uh, they have more problems over there. But we're going to do a little troop movements this episode, I think. And I, I'm, I'm glad that to see the national unity is on the rise. That That's very good for me. Uh, technology. I actually want to... We have a little bank here. So why don't we lower this down a little bit more. To like half. There we go. We have free spies. I thought I had spies out and about in Germany. Uh, they're home. Oh, they're also out in Germany. They are. Doing tech espionage and counter espionage. But we still have free spies. It doesn't seem like Germany's too interested in killing them. Interesting. So... Let's let's drop our espionage down, and that can go into research. Any research is, is going to be very beneficial for me at this point. Uh, very little amounts of leadership... Uh, only about 15 points. So any little bit is going to be good. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting game. I hope. Uh, I, I say that now, but either... Chances are, either I'm going to steamroll the enemy or they're going to steamroll me. I don't... Again, I, I think... This is more of a, 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 a test for myself to see how good the mod is in terms of balancing. I don't feel like, right now, I do not feel like it's it's uh, balanced very well, but that's why I'm playing another game. The last one only lasted 18 episodes. A civil defense, that could come off. I think that was the only one, yep. All right, nice. We got some stuff coming. Did anything actually finish? Some stuff, some upgrades did finish. That was at over two, that was like 220, I think, 214, 15, somewhere around there. So something finished. Couldn't exactly tell you who it was or where they were in the Empire. I could uh, make that a little more focused by, well, I actually, we could try that right now. German blueprint still, oh, and the cavalry. Eh, whatever. I was super excited about that, then I was like, oh, no, there's cavalry. So we can go through and say, like, uh, prioritized. 
prioritize some of these guys for... Like these infantry divisions right here, we'll just say prioritize these ones. Oh, there's some of that's cavalry too. Just uh, guards. It's pretty cool. Just everybody in this stack. We'll just say right that way. Uh, yeah, and we'll be able to see it pretty easily there. Small arms, infantry support, weapons, light artillery. It actually goes at a pretty decent clip. Mexican revolutionaries. It goes at a pretty decent clip. You know, we're already 25% done with those ones. I would like to do a little bit of production. Like get some, arty, some more arty going. But again... My, my, basically my theory when it comes to the upgrades, and I know a lot of people, uh, so, oh, in the comments section, they always say I spend too much time and effort making, uh, you know, upgrade self pull reached, great. Uh, is too much time and effort with, with upgrading my units when I could have been building more, but my point is, is like, so, this, I, this, this manpower, this IC, these resources and everything have already been put into constructing these guys. Wouldn't it be better for them to be the best that they can be? rather than putting more time and more effort effort into building you know like other units that are of an equally bad quality I am playing as Russia I should be focusing on manpower but that's just how I feel it's always worked out for me too it's always worked out for me so the supply situation is good let's take a look at some of these guys 50 something percent done here. It's actually not, it's not an insignificant amount of troops that I just prioritized for those upgrades either. January 1912, so we're two years into the game now. Been recording, been officially recording for something like 40 minutes between last episode and this episode. We're two years into the game. World War One mod is a much quicker game. Provincial government of the Republic of China down here. Much quicker the game than, um, like, Black Ice is. I was... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna withhold my, my, my full judgments of this mod until after I have finished this playthrough, I think. Um, right now... Right now, my initial thought is that it's not balanced correctly and that it's a little unfinished. Um, but we'll we'll withhold until until some sometime in the near future. I hate to say uh, negative things about mods sometimes, especially for this game. The people who make the mods they put a lot of time and effort into these things, and I hate to say bad things about them. But sometimes they're just not. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not. Howitzers are going. Okay, so uh, yeah, that dropped down a little bit more. Oh, we don't want to do that right now. We want to do this right now. Sixty-five. That's manageable. 65 is manageable. So how are the rest of these guys looking? Oh, the artillery. So it looks like the infantry got a lot of the upgrades. Or maybe not. Infantry model 1900. Hmm. And I think everything else, were, everywhere else were pretty good. Kind of picked and choose some tech in there. Why don't we start working on some troop deployments? That might be a good idea. Hmm. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? With big militaries, generally what I do... Hope, don't crash the game. Don't crash the game. What did I just do? Oh, God. Uh, I was like, no, that was a bad idea, Ben. That was a bad idea, Ben. Oh, that was definitely a bad idea, Ben. Oh, now it's lagging, too. Okay, so don't do the... Whatever you do, don't click and drag the entire Russian military. Let's just leave those militia units there. But let's, let's do it like this. Um... Ah, I don't know. The game doesn't like it when I do that. Nor my normal methodology with a very large uh, military is to put everybody together on the same province and then manually reorganize everything. But the game clearly objects to me doing that. 
Alright, so, instead, we'll start moving troops like this. Hmm, how, how, what's, well, maybe we could do, like, armies. Or this is, a uh, this is six cores right here. Let's have these six cores move together, like, right here. We'll do, we'll do, we'll have to do it in, like, batches, basically. Is I like to have a maximum amount of divisions in a core. So I like to have all my cores to have... I, I rather, would rather have, you know, like, a few cores maxed out in number of divisions they can support rather than having Balkan League. So that's going on down here. Lag, lag, lag. Okay, so the game's lagging out after I uh, uh, slapped it in the face with that methodology there. Okay, so let's just attach you. You're you're just gonna sit on Sevastopol. All right. What if we went to? So this is one military of four cores here. Uh, what if we move you guys there? Like, ooh, 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 we'll take all you guys and move you here. What do we got going on over here? You guys, two cores. Well, you can maybe take all these guys. You'll know. Trying to get this organized up. What the hell's going on over here, Garrison? Detach. I guess what we could do is. Who's here? Ooh, some units right in the middle here. All you guys come on over here, too. This is going to be a little bit more complex than I initially thought, now, isn't it? Garrison's, I'm just attaching. This guy's not attached. Well, let's attach this one right here. So I thought I told you to move, your ass. There we go. All right. Troop movements in Russia. Ooh, supply production. That means less over here, or maybe it means more over here. Let's take a look at some of these infantry units. Eh, some of them are. I I, I don't think we could have done. We were working on that whole stack all at once. I think we we're doing it in batches. Even the stack we're doing in batches. That's okay. We actually have a stockpile of supplies now, so that's good. So let's... I'm just going to do this. I don't think I don't feel I need guards. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take all these HQ units. I mean, this is a this is a mess right here. Move them over here. Um any cavalry? Move over here. Russian military is a mess. Reorganize reorganizing it. Reorganizing it, Jesus Christ, uh, is always a bit of a beast. Bit of a bear. So, like, here, we've got all these... I mean, these guys... We're, 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 we're going to deta detach all these guys. Actually, what I what I think I'm gonna do is grab my my cavalry units, and we're gonna we're gonna put them all in the same spot. I feel like I missed one somewhere. No, that guy's moving now. And then I'm probably gonna make like a cavalry corps or something like cavalry army instead of because when I was playing as Germany, what I did was all the cavalry was uh, dispersed out into various different armies, uh, they weren't utilized very well. They were like stop-gap measures. They were okay. Zooming around here and there. Not a huge impact on the war. But it is World War One. we are talking about cavalry. Militia, 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 who do we got over here? A lot of units up here. Let's grab these cavalry units out. And we're going to move them down here. We're going to merge them into uh, large divisions. Um, maybe sometime in the future they'll get armored cars. I mean, when I was playing as Germany, I, basically the war ended by the time armored cars were e even became uh, a feasible option. So there was that to worry about. 
Oh, no, I keep doing that. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to do this right now. Sinking of the Titanic. Infantry still being upgraded here. But we did... They, they did need, like, initial upgrades when we started the game, and then we researched some tech, so they needed those upgrades. But we're, we're, we're working on it, we're working on it. God, when I was playing Black Ice as Russia, I needed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of IC, basically constantly, to keep the Russian military running in terms of upgrades. Olympic Games. Uh, relations with Sweden changed by 20. Sure, I don't, um, I mean, I don't, I have plenty of money. I mean, I feel, per, for Russia this time period, I feel pretty stable. 65 unity, that's going up. Got money, we got supplies. Got a lot of good stuff. Alright, so, this is basically all the cavalry in the military. Oh my god. You know, playing modern Paradox games like EU4 and CK2, and then, you know, you know where they have really convenient buttons for doing things, uh, like reorganizing stacks and things like that, and then going into this where it's just god-awful painful trying to do it. Right. So, it looks like anybody who's at about 5,500 or 4,500 is complete. So it's just basically just that one. So we could go through and find a uh, medium-sized one and a small one. Merge. We'll go through and find a medium-sized one and a small one. Merge. Kind of doing a lot of this stuff by hand. Merge. So that one's probably complete, just suffering from attrition. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab like these ones that are quote-unquote maxed out, filled, move them off to the side, then what we'll have to do is go through these other ones, reorganize, move one over, and then what we can do is go like this, manually take care of these in a couple steps, basically, yeah, it's not going to take that long, basically if cavalry goes into battle, I don't want, I want them to be as, as good as they can possibly be. And that leaves us with one straggler down here, doesn't it? All right, so there's still, I mean, cavalry is still only like one one. It, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just that's how that's what we're working with right now. So uh, let's actually, how do I want to do it? Hmm. How do I want to? How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Well, you two can get merged together into one. How do I want to do this? I'm thinking of, I'm just trying to, you know, think out loud the best way to reorganize this bear of a military. A little bit's going into reinforcement. Didn't even realize that. I mean, a little bit, eh, a little bit going into reinforcement's fine. Well, let, let some people trickle back in. That's fine. That's fine. I, I'm okay with that. What is our total? 166. We were at 220 something before. We're at 166 now. So, not that bad. There's somebody we left off. Oh, uh, yeah, you start getting these large groups of, uh, of men like this, and things get a little laggy, so. Let's try to centralize these guys a little. Click off, click off that big stack. There we go. All right, occupation of Nicaragua. They chose occupation will suffice. Get all these guys moving down. This is all infantry. Infantry, cavalry, and HQ units. Well, that's good. Mechanical, that's, uh, what, industry? Yeah, right there.
I mean, we're good with supplies, so I don't necessarily think this is this is going to be useful for me. It is 1912, though, so we should add 1912 tax on here. Well, the ones that are useful. Desert and jungle, but mountain and arctic, yes. So we'll get this stuff going. No, 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 nothing in there. Not too much to do, really. So we'll just, uh, we'll let the tech keep going as is. Moving a lot of units around again. I'd rather have this, I'd rather spend the time reorganizing it myself to get it the way I like it, rather than working with what it, what it is giving me. That's actually going to make that go up. Yeah, but, you know, so is life. That's the way it works. These guys are going to get upgraded, then immediately need to get upgraded again. I, f I, I understand why that's there, but it feels a little weird. Like, we're going to give you crappy equipment, and then we're going to give you slightly better equipment, and then we're going to give you the good equipment that we really want you to have. But, no, I understand it. From a game perspective, I understand it. Looks like these guys got taken out of the running. Oh, that was, uh, Artie? No, that wasn't Artie. It was this one. Light artillery and infantry is what that was. I feel a little bad that my cavalry is so out of date, but it's cavalry. It's cavalry, Ben. Alright, so it looks like we're going to end up doing this kind of the way I did it. So let, let's, do, let's do this. Let's, um, we're going to make up, we're going to grab a province here and tell all of my infantry to go there. Have this one go here. Did, uh, did you not move? I thought I told you to move. Maybe I misclicked. That was this one. We, did we just tell them to basically... No, it's forest. Um, I was about to say, did we tell those guys to, like, assemble in a marsh? No. This is kind of counter... Into, nah. I, 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 I like the way this is, this is going to... I know in the long run, uh, spending the time in doing this is going to be better for me. I'm going to be happier with it this way. I definitely told those cavalry guys to go into the middle of a dam. A marshland, though. Uh, we'll take all the HQ units and move them down over here. If you guys didn't know, I mean, I, I know a lot of people ask me this question. If you hold down about clicking like this, if you hold down shift and click on the select button, you get to select multiples. And I think I told them to go there. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna basically manually take care of this whole thing. We're gonna manually do this, basically because the AI uh, is not very good. Well, the game comes set up kind of the the, the order of battle is kind of borked. Not not very not very set uh, well set up. I don't like the way it is, so we're gonna fix that. HQs, you're gonna come over here. Except for you, you're just gonna stay right there. What is left here? Militia and infantry. Uh, we got some guards. We're gonna go to Praga. Cavalry. You're gonna move down here. Who's here? Uh, HQs. That leaves us. Ooh, that's a cavalry unit. Leaves us with a bunch of infantry. It's not like the military's small. It's just. Not very good. The reinforcements barely, barely. I guess we took care of reinforcements pretty easily. We actually took care of some uh, uh, some upgrades too. Serbia's mobilizing. Ooh, nice. More IC. Good for me. There we go. In a, in a day, that should bump up to about a hundred and ninety. 191. Greece is mobilizing. Bulgaria is mobilizing. So Serbia, Greece, and Bulgaria are all mobilizing right now. I think the first Balkan War is about to... Is the first Bar Balkan War? One of the Balkan Wars about, is about to start off. So what we're going to do is make sure all these guys are detached. 
Oh, it looks like a couple of them could get merged together. Boom, boom merge. Uh, this one and this one merge. Put them together. And we got some guards, guards units over here. What do we got? Oh, there's so much more military. There's so much military. And then we scroll down and there's more. I just, I, I like to, I like to manually set up my own order of battle. I like a nice clean order of battle, which means I it, basically I have to do it myself. If I want it to be nice and pretty and clean, I have to do it myself. Because it comes so messed up in the game. Oh, that's not a bad number. 156 compared to the 200 and something we were working with before. That's manageable. Look at all like look at all these HQ units. You could save a lot of manpower and officers by trimming that way the hell down. Alright, that's just a garrison. Anybody over here? Again, more cavalry. Well, let's say, let's move this guy right here, then we'll divvy him up as he comes in. Can't zoom out too far, it starts lagging, and when it starts lagging, I fear that it it, it wants to crash. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Coming down over here. Thank you. Move out of the way, please. Oh, you know, that's industrial efficiency, isn't it? There we go. Ooh. Taking a little bit. But we're getting it. So there, I thought I thought I saw like capital ship armament on there. I was like, what the hell was I thinking? Wasting money on the Russian Navy? There's a lot of men in here. Well, let's let's take a look. There's 158 regiments of infantry in here, but only 38 of artillery. That's not good. That means a lot of our infantry is missing oomph. So let's, I mean, it's going to be, it's not going to be easy to build at a cost, well, we can build it in a reserve. And we could, we'll only have to be, we'll only be able to build some, a few at a time. We're going to put a little bit into production. So that we can get some more, for the first time since we started recording, we'll put a little bit into production. Because we're gonna need it. Alright, how's this though? Well, we got we got guys to deal with over here. So HQ, infantry, infantry, cavalry. Move. Military aircraft design. Alright, anybody we can merge together here? Like you and you? Or you and say, you friend. All right, there we go. Make sure these guys are all detached. That's 15 divisions. Ooh, leadership. 15 divisions of cavalry all maxed out. Not that they're very strong. I mean, we could make them stronger by putting tech into it, but I feel like that was a fool's errand. Like, do we really want to put, you know, these tech points that could go into infantry into cavalry when the cavalry are really not that great? Cavalry anti-tank anti -tank weapons are fine. Defensiveness, toughness, soft attack. Let's give them soft attack. Let's throw them a bone. All right, everybody, we're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Hearts of Iron 3 with the World War One mod, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.